Hey there everyone. Uh, in this tutorial I want to talk about um, using Inkscape to create basically clip art from a scanned image. So on the left here you see the scanned um, flower. Uh, it's actually a flower that my daughter drew. Um, and then on the right you see um, some Inkscape objects that I began drawing yesterday for this tutorial. Um, it's a pretty simple process. We're going to just use a couple of tools in this process. We're going to use the a pen tool for the Draw Bezier Curves, and we're going to use the Edit Paths by Nodes, um, and possibly the Select and Transform tool, but not much else. Um, so basically, you scan the, your file, um, your image, your drawn image with a scanner, um, and then you go to File Import, and you will be able to find your scanned image wherever you saved it. Um, it'll bring it in, it'll import it, and it'll be part of your Inkscape document until you get rid of it. So I um, basically yesterday began drawing this image. Um, and what I've done here, you can see that um, the, the background of the petals is sort of um, op um, transparent. Uh, I adjusted the opacity for the background of the transparent of the petals. I'll show you how to do that now. So you go to object fill and stroke and it's going to open up the fill and stroke dialog box. Right now um, my uh, background pink color um, is set to opacity of 64. So you see me take that down or take that all the way up to 100% opacity. Um, that's what we have. So I'm going to take it back down and show you how to draw these, the inner parts of these petals. So we're going to use the, the pen or Bezier curve tool. Going to take us in just a little bit here so we can see better. And essentially it, it works very much like the Paths tool in GIMP. Um, wherever you find a good turning point, probably where you want to click. Now you get to the end, unlike GIMP, you do not have to hold control. See that that, that node, the beginning node, is highlighting red. Go ahead and click red, click it. And you have um, a completed circuit or a completed path. Um, now what we need to do is go up to the Edit Paths by Nodes tool. And it's going to give us nodes wherever we clicked. Um, and if we draw out on those nodes, it will turn it into an arc. If I click a second time on the, the path, I can take these handles and adjust them pretty easily. Um, if I want to move just one node at a time, I need to make sure I'm, I've got only that node selected. So we're going to go in just a little bit farther like this. Let's get this one here, pull that out, take this one here, and, and we're not looking for an exact representation of the scanned image, we're looking for um, a close representation. The more time you spend with these Bezier curves, the better you can get the, the image. Um, so. that out. Okay, so right now I have um, arced out my um, inner part of my petal here, but you notice there are a couple of kinks, um, things that well, it might look better if they weren't kinked. Um, how can I fix those? I can select that node and come up here and play with my select uh, nodes. I can smooth the node, I can auto smooth the node, um, I can make notes symmetric. Um, I can turn it back into a corner node, which it is now. So if I do a, a smooth, you see what happens. It took that node and curved it and made it so that um, it's now smooth around that node instead of uh, cornered. Okay, So I could do that to all of these um, if I wanted to. And let's do another one here. We'll smooth that node and see how it just kind of takes the kink right out of, of there. 
Um, so now I have my path. Um, I want to go and let's talk about um, colors. Um, if if I take this object right here, you'll see a hex code for the color, this light pink color. Um, I had started changing these to light pink um, instead of a dark pink that you see here. So I can just copy that. Um, I can come down to my object and go to the stroke paint. And right now you see it's set to black. Um, if I just come in here, highlight and paste, um, it'll change the stroke color of my path to light pink. Um, and then if I want to fill it, just go to the fill. Um, you notice here you, you can fill flat color. You can fill with gradients, which is a kind of nice feature. Um, and we'll go with the flat color. And it's automatically going to take the last color that I um, placed into uh, my color palette and put it in. Now, let's uh, do the same thing here. I'll paste. And I want to get the stroke paint as well. Paste that in. Okay, take this one, same thing. And go to my fill and paste. Okay, so um, that is a, a very quick overview of drawing in Inkscape. Um, I'll turn this opacity up, and you'll see that it wouldn't take me too much longer to get all of the petals of my flower arranged. Um, and um, it's going to look uh, like a nice piece of clip art when I'm done. Hope this helps with um, your current projects, and we'll see you next time.